You've likely observed it at the grocery store. A tidy display of spotless white eggs positioned directly alongside a rustic appearing container of brown eggs. And there's a good chance you've also spotted the price difference. Brown eggs frequently cost more. And at some point, someone likely informed you they're more nutritious or more natural. But is that genuinely accurate? Or is it simply another culinary misconception that's been transmitted like the notion that carrots improve your night vision? Today, we're going to uncover the reality and discover what truly distinguishes a brown egg from a white egg. Spoiler alert, it's likely not what you're expecting. So, let's examine it all right here on Stories Behind Everything. Fundamentally, the distinction between brown and white eggs boils down to something remarkably straightforward. The breed of the hen. White feathered chickens with white earlobes generally produce white eggs. Chickens with red or brown plumage and red earlobes typically produce brown eggs. That's all there is to it. It's not about nutritional value, quality standards, or even how the chickens are nourished. It's literally avian genetics in action. And no, there's no mystical flavor-enhancing gene in brown-feathered hens. The shell pigmentation is purely a biological consequence. This also indicates that there are additional shell pigmentations available, like blue and green, produced by particular breeds, such as the Araucana or Americana chickens. But for most consumers shopping at the supermarket, the selection usually narrows down to the conventional brown or white varieties. So if brown and white eggs are nutritionally equivalent, why do brown eggs frequently cost more? The explanation isn't because they're superior quality, but because the hens that produce brown eggs tend to be larger breeds. Bigger chickens consume more feed, and that increased cost gets passed along to the buyer. In essence, you're not purchasing superior eggs. You're compensating for a chicken with a heartier appetite. There's also a degree of marketing strategy at work. Brown eggs have been positioned as the more natural or organic alternative, which makes them more attractive to shoppers who connect rustic, earthy shades with healthier food choices. It's sophisticated packaging psychology. We've been trained to believe that a loaf of bread wrapped in brown paper feels artisanal, and the identical reasoning extends to eggs. From a scientific standpoint, a brown egg and a white egg have virtually identical nutritional composition. Both contain approximately 70 calories, 6 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, and abundant vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D, vitamin B12, and selenium. The shell pigmentation doesn't affect these values whatsoever. The only genuine nutritional variations occur when you modify the chicken's diet not its feather pigmentation. For instance, free-range or omega-3 enriched eggs can have moderately elevated levels of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. But that can apply to both brown and white eggs if the hens are provided the same enriched diet. So, when it concerns health advantages, don't evaluate the egg by its exterior. Some individuals insist they can detect the difference between brown and white eggs but blind taste evaluations often demonstrate otherwise. The flavor is more affected by freshness and diet than shell pigmentation. A farm fresh egg, whether brown or white, will typically have a more robust taste and more vibrant yolk compared to a weeks old supermarket egg. If you've observed that farm eggs often appear superior, it's likely because they're fresher, not because they're brown. The yolk pigmentation too has nothing to do with shell color. It's connected to the hen's feed. Chickens that consume a diet abundant in yellow-orange pigments like marigold petals or certain grains produce deeper colored yolks. Another widespread belief is that brown eggs have thicker shells, making them more durable. While it's accurate that shell thickness can fluctuate, it's actually more about the age of the hen. Younger hens tend to produce eggs with thicker shells, while older hens generate thinner shells. So, you might obtain a sturdy white egg from a young hen or a fragile brown egg from an older one. Shell pigmentation has nothing to do with it. 
Brown eggs often originate from breeds that are raised in smaller farms or free-range environments, particularly in Western countries. This contributes to the perception that they're more natural or organic. However, this isn't a universal rule. Large-scale commercial farms can raise brown egg-producing hens in the same manner they raise white egg layers. Similarly, you can locate white eggs from free-range farms. The farming methodology matters far more for egg quality and taste than the shell pigmentation. While white and brown are the supermarket mainstays, there's an entire spectrum of eggs available. Some breeds produce pale pink eggs, speckled eggs, or even dark chocolate brown ones. Shell pigmentation is determined by pigments deposited during egg formation. For instance, brown shells acquire their color from a pigment called protoporphyrin, which originates from hemoglobin in the chicken's blood. Blue shells, conversely, get their hue from biliverdin, a pigment found in bile. It's like nature's own Easter egg coloring station. When it comes down to making a choice, selecting between brown and white eggs should be about personal preference, budget considerations, and farming practices, not shell color misconceptions. If you want the freshest eggs, seek out a local source regardless of pigmentation. If animal welfare is significant to you, check for labels like pasture-raised or certified humane. And if you simply prefer the appearance of a brown egg in your breakfast photograph, go ahead. But understand that you're not necessarily obtaining more nutrition for the additional money. Interestingly, egg production has environmental considerations worth noting. A single hen can produce approximately 250 to 300 eggs annually, regardless of shell color. The carbon footprint of egg production varies more by farming method than by breed, with pasture-raised systems generally requiring more land but often supporting better biodiversity compared to intensive indoor operations. Understanding these factors can help consumers make more informed choices beyond just shell color. The brown versus white egg debate has been confused with misconceptions for years. The reality is that shell pigmentation is a matter of chicken genetics, not quality, nutritional value, or taste. The genuine differences come from how the hens are raised and what they're fed. So next time you're standing in the egg section, you can make your selection with confidence and perhaps even share your newly acquired egg knowledge with the person beside you. After all, it's satisfying to finally resolve this breakfast table debate to rest, one cracked shell at a time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you proper recognition for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this exploration through stories behind everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories discovered through the smallest details.